respectable. But, you know, guys, we've got two games in hand. We've got so much. Who's our two games in hand? Spurs at home, who are above us with a fit squad, and Arsenal, who are in a title race. Yeah? There are two games in hand, mate. Yeah? We can't even beat a 10-man ten ten Burnley at home. And you lot, propping this, then we could get Champions League, we can get Europa League spaces. We're not getting out of mid-table, you wrong'uns. Do you not understand it? Do you not get it? Have you not woken up yet? Or you want to just sit there and let us just fall in the gutter for further and I've got all these fucking rivals. All these rivals are giving it. All these rivals are giving it. How long may live? You know what? Rival fans are calling out. Calling out to supporters and platforms going, you're blaming Poch. You want Poch out. It's beyond Poch, mate. It's a structure. Do you know what? I tweeted today. Poch out. Paul Carrying when Stanley out. Stuart Little out. Todd Milo Foley out. Siri Merchant Clown Lake out. Yeah? Retweet that. Push it out. And I added them. So, yeah, block me. Report me. Just like you report Stevie Chelsea land of damn minerals. You report accounts. Well, try and report me. Because I'll know once I'm reported and I'm suspended on Twitter, I will come for you and I'll call you out. Because let's have it right. I've got YouTube. I've got Rumble set up. I've got every platform, every network set up. So you can't cancel me. You can't stop me from speaking the truth. You can't zippy me, mate. I zippy your PR happy meals. That's what I do. On the minerals FC, that's what I do. I call it out. I've been calling out all these wrongans, all these agenda merchants, all these propaganda merchants. I've been doing them like kippers, bruv. Eating them all day long. But you So have it right. Up the Chels, up the Minnows FC. Big up to every single one of you live and locked in. I hope everyone's doing well, winning in life. First and foremost, guys, I want you all to smash to pieces that like button. If you haven't smashed that like button, I want you all to smash it right now. And if you haven't subscribed to Minnows FC, make sure you do smash that subscribe button. We're on 10.1K. Let's get up to the 11K as soon as possible. And up and up and up we go and keep landing down Minnows. Respect to everyone. Hit the notification bell. Ding dong. Let's have it right. So you know when we go live on the Minnows FC. And we've got the Minnows FC Ultras membership, which is pinned at the top of the live chat and down below in the description. Respect to everyone. Salute to all the Minnows FC Ultras. All the proper chels. Let's have it right. Make sure you get in the chat. Make sure you land them damn minerals in the chat. And we're going to set off the stream. As we always do, land the damn minerals and we salute our GOAT and Don Roman first and foremost. Let's have it right. And we see things they'll never see. Shout out Chelsea old boys. Chelsea Ultra. Mills FC Ultra. Proper Chelsea. Let's have it right. We salute him. Long live Chelsea old boys. And everyone, all the Minnows FC Ultra members, you've got the long live Chelsea old boys emoji in the chat. So make sure you land it. You've got everything in there, bruv. You've got Stonies. You've got, you got the Clown Lakes. You've got everything, bruv. You've got We See Things They'll Never See. You've got Don Roman and Barrage. You've got everything in there. Land them minerals, bruv. All right. Respect to everyone. Tonight, tonight, mate, I'll tell you what, mate. I'm rattled. I'm wound up. So be... Be prepared. You know what I'm saying? But first and foremost, guys, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And uh, I'll tell you what, mate, we're going to have a good one. So let's go. Let's land it. All right. So as you all know, today, the clown himself, Meatloaf Bowley, he come out today and he give it all, didn't he? He wanted to respond to the supporters. He responded to the supporters. You know what I'm saying? And this is this is what we got, yeah? On Forbes, bruv. He couldn't go to Chelsea Supporters Trust, him and Siri Merchant. We had to do it via Forbes. Yeah, that's the one. Forbes, you absolute clown. Get him out, bruv. Yeah, all of them. Let's have it right. There's no mercy on this channel. It's relentless, bruv. 
you understand me? Yeah, absolutely relentless. You want to go on Forbes because you're a main character syndrome. You know what I'm saying? He, what, he thinks he's in Batman playing the, the main role as Joker, bruv. You know what I'm saying? He is. He's a joker. He's a clan. And so Siri Merchant. But let's have it right. Let's see what he's put up. Let's see what he said. This is a joke, mate. We just need to let the process develop and give them time to go from being unbelievable individual players with great skills to fold into a team. Bowley says, the good news is people care so much. The bad news is people care so much. That leads to times when they're frustrated with the team and the owners. I get that, but we just have to continue to stay the course. Not that it really matters. Love him or hate him, Todd Bowley knows that so long as fans show up or tune in, his annuity holding backers will get paid and his billions will continue to grow. Yeah? His billions will continue to grow. The good news is that people care so much. And the bad news is people care so much. You're wrong then. Is this what you've got to say after everything that's come out from the Chelsea Supporters Trust? Is this, are you having me on? Is this a wind-up? And you want to do it by, by a force to globalise and broadcast that you're some billionaire? We don't care if you're a billionaire, bruv. You ain't rich like the proper Chelsea. We're the heart and soul of this football club. We don't give a toss. I don't care. I ain't interested. You care. You don't care. You're basically saying you don't care because all you're propping is this whole project. Give it time. Give it patience. We've got a bunch of amazing individuals. Oh, have we? Have we? Is that what the data tells us? Is that what the AI tells us? Just like Burnley when we lost to 10-man Burnley with Gaffelus Burnley who used the same AI scouting. Oh, we've got a bunch of amazing individuals. What? What? Collectively, we ain't got a bunch of amazing individuals, mate. You're from Mars. You're from Cuckoo Land, bro. You know what I'm saying? These PR Happy Meals, they don't wash with the Chelsea supporters. Yeah? And that article's very telling. I'll tell you that now. Yeah? I ain't having it, bro. Rattled, man. Rattled. Yeah? You are a clown. Biggest clown in world football. The biggest clown in the history of football. Yeah? This guy's the face. You want to step down? We're going to step down now. And Siri Merch is going to take control. You're all in it together, you free ring circus. Let's have it right. Yeah? You're free ringers, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah? Destroyed our football club. All for monetary reasons. This is all about profitability, mate. This is what it's all about. They don't give a toss, mate. They're not changing the model. I keep telling you. I keep stressing it to everyone. Yeah, they're not going to change the model. He's just basically said it there in black and white, mate. Black and white. They don't care. So what are we going to do? Should we sit here twiddling our thumbs, scratching our bollocks? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? I don't know. Someone tell me. What, we're just going to sit there and take it and go there and just applaud and, and chant Bowley went in the, to France in Lamborghini and all that nonsense, bruv? He's going to France in fucking Nissan Micras at this rate, yeah? You understand me? A Lamborghini with a Nissan Micra engine, that's more like it. What an embarrassment, bruv. What a joker, man. Yeah? Is this what's going on now? Yeah? Everyone's just going to sit there and accept it. Because that's basically what everyone's doing. You know what I'm saying? Mate, don't get me started. I'll expose that Twitter space last night, yeah? But first and foremost, I have to go through the facts. I have to go through the facts, yeah? Because it's an outright disgrace, yeah? He's mugging off every single supporter that goes and pays their hard-earned money to go and watch this trash, this garbage, this project. How's the project doing? How's the beachhead? How's the streamline? How's it going, mate? How's the multi-club? You spent one billion. We're sitting mid-table. Yeah. How's it going? Oh, we're going to give Patch time. They're, they're, they're reluctant to sack Potch, just like Jellyfish Potter. Why? Because you have to get an elite gaffer now. You have to. Yeah. 
and that changes the whole model. But you ain't going to do that until we make them do it. I keep stressing it. It's only the supporters that have the voice. Match going supporters. Forget all you Twitter melts. Yeah? Twitter melts, get in the bin. Unless you're on the program, you're, you're irrelevant. Your opinions are irrelevant. Your actions are irrelevant. What you say is irrelevant. It's the match going supporters that have to land it, bro. Yeah? They have to land it. They have to voice their opinion. We have to chant Roman Abramovich. We have to chant Blue Co out. We have to show it. We have to make a stand. Because at this rate, this guy's laughing. He's joking and laughing like he's at the circus he's at. And he's turning our football club into a circus. Is everyone happy to just sit back and let him laugh at us and mug us off and take our money? Because he knows either way the seats are getting filled. I ain't having it, mate. Yeah? I'll happily, mate, me, I'll happily boycott games, bro. Happily, bro. If it means they ain't getting a dime off me, bro. Yeah? And season ticket holders, just scan it and leave, bro. That's what we got to do. We have to have empty seats in that stadium. That is literally the answer. Hurt their pockets. I said this, I mugged off United supporters because they protest up north like it's Sunday market. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's non-stop, non-stop. It took them a break into the megastar. It took them a break into the ground playing football on the old Trapper pitch, all right, for the Glazers to eventually put up the club for sale and then retract from that. And now you've got Ratcliffe buying the club. The Cronkies had protests from the Arsenal supporters. They had to change it. The, the, the old man stepped down, the son took over, and they tweaked their strategy. And they went and started buying players. And people go, oh, they, they're doing the same as Chelsea. No, they're not. They're playing Saka 300 grand a week. They bought Declan Rice for over 100 million, paying him well over 250 grand a week. Yeah, they're paying Kai Havertz 250 grand a week. In fact, Kai Havertz is one of the highest earners, bruv. Yeah, that's not our model. Our model's low wage structure, 150 grand caps. I don't know where these deluded supporters get this ideology that Arsenal's the same process. It ain't the same process. All right. So what? That's the only thing we can do because I mugged off United. I said, you ain't boycotting games. Until you boycott games, that's when it hurts them. It hurts their pocket. It hurts the atmosphere. It hurts the team. It hurts everything. But mainly, it hurts those clowns upstairs. All right? So that's the first thing. The second thing, obviously, goes without saying, we have to chant. We have to chant. We have to do it. We have to chant Roman Bramage. Anti-ownership chants. We can't put banners at the bridge. We can do it away games and we can do it at Wembley. That's what we do. All right? And then it only, it only leads to one, one place. And that's a protest. Do I feel confident that the Chelsea Support Trust is going to arrange a protest? Right now, after what I've heard, I don't. I'll be real. I don't feel like it's going to happen. Yeah? And you're allowing these clowns, all right, to, to bide more time to get to the end of the season. And then it's done. They got what they want. Not having it, bruv. Yeah? Listen, I'm doing my bit, all right? I'm speaking. I'm saying the truth. I'm, 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 I'm landing it for what it really is. But there ain't enough doing it. They're not doing it. They're all bought. They all want to be journalists. They all want to be brown envelopes. They all want to be in the brown envelope matrix. That's the reality of the situation, mate. That is the reality. Because the influencers have already been influenced by the clown lakes. And they've been got to. And I'm very worried right now. I'll be real. This is a serious, serious matter. All right? Our club is destroyed. All right? And the cheek today that you got all these Romanos and all these Ben Jacobs, Toothpick Jacobs, the melt that he is. Yeah? Let's expose this wrong and for what he really is, bro. Yeah? blacklisted from the BBC to get up the ladder, snakes and ladders. They're all snakes and ladders merchants, bruv, yeah? This guy putting out that the the equipped report that there only 200 turned up for the Strasbourg protest, the ultras. What a load of bangers and mash waffle trying to downplay it. Now, me, 
as I know it. And I always mud anything that's false and false narratives. That's false. That's a lie. Because there was plenty more, bruv. I can tell you there's well over a thousand people just marching, bruv. And that was a march, mate. There was fireworks. There was smokes. It was in the ground. There was banners, a massive blue cut banner. It was broadcasted everywhere. You had to report it. Drink them minerals in, yeah? But let's have it right. Let me expose Le Quip for you. Le Quip. Let's remind everyone with these French journalists and this French platform. What did they tell us about in Kunku? Oh, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Uh, uh, bonjour. Je m'appelle Johnny fucking Minerals, bruv. Yeah, I remember what you said. Yeah, you told us in Kunku's not injured in January through the January transfer window to mask these clowns so that their narrative is pushed out that in Kunku's going to come back as soon as possible. And we're going to see him play against uh, Middlesbrough. Let's have it right. And then he's going to come back in the Premier League. So we don't need to go out in the market by a striker. No, it's not that. It's because you ain't got a pot to piss in, you little penny pinchers, that you can't go in the market and buy a striker. And you can't get an Ozzyman. And you can't get anyone of proven pedigree because you're broke. And you've got FFP right up you. You understand me? Let's have it right. Just like a dildo up your slosh pot wet. You understand me? That's where we're going, you jokers, you clowns. All right? So... Let's bring it up. Let's remind everyone. Roman Rosman comes out. He says he's out for three weeks. That was in January. Oh, that's the fireworks. That's the bomb now. The middle's landed. Uh, no, they're trying to mud him. And then it comes out. He's out. He wasn't only out for three weeks. He was out for six weeks. And he's still out. And we don't even know if he's coming back this season. So, a prime example of Liquip being bought to push out the false narratives as Clown Lake requests. Oh, I love laying the damn minerals, mate. I love it. I love mudding. Nothing gets past me, mate. Sweeney Todd will give you a lovely shave. You know what I'm saying? Let's have it right. Yeah? I'm done with this nonsense, bruv. I'm absolutely done with it, bruv. Yeah? I'll tell you this now, right? Yeah? Let's bring... Mate, honestly, yeah? Last night, this Twitter space, all right? This Twitter space. I don't even know what it's called, mate. And I'm not interested. All right? It's a podcast. Whatever. All right? You've got Chelsea Dodgers retweeting it. You've got all these pies and mash. All, I don't even know pies. All these copy and paste merchants putting it out. You've got Nizar Kinsella as a guest on there. What a surprise. A journalist. Ooh, interesting that. we got the speakers on there. All right? And they're all talking. Oh, we've got a lot of good things. Uh, they've done a lot of good things, these owners. Someone explain to me what good they've done. What good have they done? Because I can't name you one thing. Yeah? Oh, maybe we could say Carl Palmer. Wow, what a stretch. Right? Toxic positivity. Sitting on the fence. Oh, it's a voice for all the supporters to speak. They bring on uh, the chairman of Supporters, Chelsea Supporters Trust. And they sit on there. And what did I get? They haven't come back with a response. They're all, all they're talking about is Cole Palmer. And he's asking Cole Palmer, Cole Palmer this, Cole Palmer that, propping all this positive shit about one player. And, oh, he's unbelievable and this and that. Um, a bit about Sterling and what an amazing human being is. We know he's an amazing human being. I prop Sterling. I back Sterling. People boo Sterling. I've never booed one Chelsea footballer. But that's not, that's not the necessary. We don't need to talk about all this. We need to talk about... What is happening at our football club? We need to relay the severity of the situation at our football club that's been gutted, destroyed, burnt down, and these clown lakes are pissing on the ashes, right? That's exactly what they're doing, right? False narratives, bruv. It's all this toxic positivity. Oh, we're just going to have a polite discussion. We're not going to scream and shout and rant. I'll fucking rant, so have it right, because if you don't rant, don't get heard. Who wants to sit there like they're all acting like they want to be journalists? In fact, the Gary Hayes fella... Oh, lovely. Someone told me he was a journalist. He used to work for Chelsea Football Club. He was on the payroll Chelsea Football Club last year, but he's not now. Oh, and he works for CNN or CBS or whatever the fuck it is. All right. Well, what a surprise. That doesn't surprise me. You've got Daniel Childs on there, the son of Chelsea. You fucking having me on, son of Chelsea. What are we doing here, bruv? All right. We've got the other geezer. I don't know who the other geezer is. All these people, bruv, on here trying to talk. And talk about talk for the voice of the fans. Bring on a Chelsea Supporters Trust chairman. He says, oh, well, it's been positive towards the stadium. Of course it can be positive towards the stadium because that involves pound notes and then developing and them putting forward 
they're part of the bargain of the contracts. Have it right. Because right now, Chelsea pitch owners are cock blocking them. And it's as simple as that. All right. They haven't come back. They just want that. They, he's basically saying, we just want the supporters uh, to, to be answered. We want to know the direction. We want to understand what the project is and this and that. Mate, right? I understand you've got to be political in that sense. But it is absolutely stonewall clear. Crystal, bruv. Crystals, you can go out Africa. I can dig out as many diamonds as you want, bruv. And you'll be reflecting, bruv. All the minerals will be reflecting. Every rainbow colour you can imagine, bruv. You'll be blindsided by it staring you in the face. Everything about this project. The funny thing is, people don't... They don't talk about the project because they don't know what a project is. Yes, they do. They know about the project. They don't want to promote what a project is. Because the moment these owners come out and speak to Chelsea Sports Trust and lay down the project, they're going to go, we ain't having that. That's unacceptable. Which is why they're zippy. And that's why Meatloaf Bowley goes on the Forbes. And gives a little, a little, uh, what paragraph? I mean, what are we doing here? Why are people so, so gone, bro? So you got this platform set up to promote their podcast. That's all it was. It was a PR, to, a PR stunt. Promote their podcast. Let's say it for what it is. They weren't saying the truth. Then they go, we're going to get Chelsea supporters to come on and speak the truth. You know, and not speak the truth. Have their say. They bring on this melt the score. Yeah, they bring on this Chelsea Central guy. They bring on another geezer, all right? All talking to be positive. I'll give it time and all this jazz. What are we doing here, bruv? Polluting everyone's mindset on the, on the timeline on Twitter. Not, not at landing it for what it really is. So what did I do? I put in the... I knew they weren't going to put me on. Let's have it right. And I'll tell you why, all right? Because that son of Chelsea's blocked me, that Dan Childs. So has that score who went on there, all right? So already I'm blocked by two of them, bro. All right? Let's have it right. The, the host, oh, I couldn't see nothing. Bollocks. You could see everyone. Do you know why? Because I put, I request to speak. I got more retweets and more likes than the entire space tweet itself. And then I said, at the end of the day, this is, a, this is to promote your podcast. It's not telling the truth. You're not having people on. They were, they were muting and hiding people's comments that were speaking the truth, all right? What does that tell you? It tells you, it's not a true narrative. It tells you this is a mouthpiece. This is to calm everything down. And they got the Chelsea Supporters Trust to say specifically, we didn't do the stickers. Of course they didn't do the stickers. It's Anonymous who done the stickers. And people want to say it's me. It ain't me, mate. I'll tell you that for, for, for facts. It ain't me, bruv. Listen. I'm influential. Let's have it right. They know I'm influential. Everyone knows I'm influential. I'm not being big-headed. I'm not blowing smoke up my ass. But let's have it right. There is not one person in the entire Chelsea fan base on any platform that is landing it how I land it and has been landing it for over a year. And that's the facts, all right? I've got a track record, an archive of them on the Minerals FC approve every single fact to that, all right? So the bottom line is this. Anyone can go and copy something make it themselves and print it and it's stuck and it's gone global. It's gone on talk sport. It's gone with Matt Law, who was in this Twitter space listening, but why didn't he get invited on? Why have we got this Arkin seller on there? The Manchester United fan giving it all this prop for Cole Palmer. Oh, it's a bit of a delicate situation, you know, at the moment with Chelsea the owners, but he did mention he walked into, he, he was told there was going to be a meeting. All right. And I, I'm not sure if it was with the Chelsea Sports Trust there was going to be some sort of meeting. And these clowns cancelled it and used it as hospitality. And he walked in there and people were going, what are you doing in here? And he felt like a prat. So a bit right. All for the pound note. That's what it's all about, mate. Everything they do is for the pound note. Yeah? I told everyone, yeah? All right? Everyone was tweeting, copying, adding them, get Johnny on. Let him speak. Let him speak. Do you know what they did? They brought on an Arsenal supporter before bringing on a Chelsea, bruv. They brought on an American Arsenal supporter. Oh, because I know him. And he had the cheek to go, oh, you know, you're, you're entitled. Chelsea think they're, in, you know, all these supporters are entitled. Entitled, bruv. Entitled? We got standards, mate. Standards set by Ronan Bramich. 
the disrespect on Roman, yeah? Anyone who disrespects Roman, anyone who brings this argument, oh, we were failing under Roman in the four, last four years and all this jazz, yeah? You're hypocrites. All of this to prop these clowns. That's what it is, because the reality is there's nothing you can say about Roman. Nothing. We weren't in this financial mess. He left us 1.5 billion debt free. He had his cab robbed of him. Orchestrated by Rain Group and the UK government and brought these clowns to us. Yeah? Listen, pot, the podcast was a load of bangers and mash waffle, mate. Yeah? And it's insulting. It was insulting the supporters. And to be honest with you, listen, the old boy that's on there, I, I, I didn't mind him at all, man. He's just a presenting. I'll give it him. You know what I'm saying? But the people you put on, it was all orchestrated. Everything. And then Sash came on, who I know on a Twitter account. They, they blocked her account. So she had to go on her private account to get requests to go and speak. And she landed the damn minerals and said the, said the facts, had them all stuttering like their brains in Thunderbirds, the little puppets. And uh, let's have it right. Um, she spoke like a true minerals FC Ultra. Respect. The work is done. God's work was done. The minerals FC work was done. And that's all we have to say, bud. Nip it in the bud. And we move on. Be very careful what you listen to, bruv. Yeah? Be very careful what you listen to. All right? So... We continue. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you smash that like button. Every single one of you. Oh, the good news is people care so much. And the bad news is people care so much. Oh, you're such a smart little witty clown, isn't you? You know what I'm saying? You don't care. We just have to continue to stay on court on the course. What course is that, bruv? Is this a eight and center on the course, bruv? Because that's what I'm seeing, mate. That's what I'm seeing. It's a car crash, bruv. You know what I'm saying? It's an absolute disaster. Listen, let's learn the facts, bruv. All right? Let's learn the facts. You sacked our elite gaffer. Everyone goes, oh, it's Winston and Stuart Little. They're the ones pulling all the strings. When are you going to learn, bruv? They were put in place because they they've not won anything. They haven't even been directors at an elite level, elite club. They haven't been directors, bro. They were scout analysts, mate. Yeah? At mid table non elite clubs. They're perfect yes men. They're there to use data and AI and and promote this structure and be the full guy, just as much as Pochettino's the full guy, mate. Yeah. These clowns make every decision. Every decision, Meatloaf Bowley, Siri Merchant, and Jose Feliciano, they all collectively make these decisions. And if you don't think that, and you don't understand that, and you don't think that they run everything, then you are either bought or you're a long way from Starbucks and Levata Super Grandma. Let's have it right. Yeah. And that's a fact. You just outright ain't got it. You don't have minerals. You don't understand. You don't understand these clouds. And do you know what the funny thing is? Siri merchants sat down when they bought the club before they implemented anything and stated what they were going to do. Beachhead multi-club by a low, create a low wage structure by young players with resale value and not by experienced players and, and high, high wage structure with no resale value. Done. That's it. That's what they said. And that's what they're doing. And they're not going to budge until we make them. Yeah. Until we make them. Oh, I don't think this, the protest is, is the right way. You know, it's not the right answer. You wrong uns, bruv. Do you love your chills? Like you say you love your chills? Because a protest is the only thing that can save our club and make a change. Now, if it's not a case of get, we can't get them out when I know that they can sell the damn club and I, I want the proof that they can't, someone show me the rain, rain group contract. Let's have it right. The reality is it's what you're told because when you read reports, it says a source says a source. What source is that? Ketchup, barbecue, curry sauce from Mackey D's, bruv? PR Happy Meals? What source is telling you they can't sell the club? I'm asking for a mate. So have it right. Who buys something that they can't sell? Why would you do that? So, yeah, that's a load of waffle. The other thing is, if you're not going to sell the club, change the model and clearly they're not going to change the model so we have to protest to force them to change the model and if you don't change the model well let's have it right we have to go right bruv yeah
You understand me? It's, it's done. It's done. Right? There, when you hear this clown speak like that, and anyone who is being patient, anyone who's being positive about this, you're bought. You're outright bought. I don't want to hear nothing about it, mate. I don't care what you've got to say. Yeah? Anyone propping this nonsense, you ain't Chelsea, mate. I'm sorry. Yeah? You're letting our club go in the gutter. Yeah? So drink them damn minerals in. And crawl you want, mate. Cry like Liam Gallagher and put the kettle on like he did in Porto. You get all this nonsense put up on this podcast that gets retweeted out by Chelsea Dodgers, copy and paste merchant, yeah? Where are you, Chelsea Dodgers? Where are you not putting out what you should really be putting out? Because you're a copy and paste merchant, earning your money, followed by a meatloaf bowley. Let's have it right. That's the reality, man. Let's land it for what it is. I don't trust any of you wrong-uns, mate, yeah? You're all fake. You're for gazes. Puts out Todd Bailey was very keen to meet us during the bidding process after the club was sanctioned. One thing Todd was really proud of was that he wanted Chelsea Football Club to be the tra train blazers in the field of fan engagement. And the Chelsea, and Chelsea were, I think, the first club that tried to set up the fan advisory board. Why did they set up a fan advisory board? To counter the Chelsea Supporters Trust, which is exactly what they did by going, don't worry, everything's going to be all right. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course it's all right. Yeah? Absolute disgrace. It's there, put there for situations like this. And now they're countering and speaking through the fan advisory board. They don't care about fan and fan engagement, bruv. Their fan engagement, shall I tell you what their fan engagement is? Is monetized content. Monetized content, mate. Expand the global brand and have every international fan following Chelsea, buying Chelsea merchandise. That's what they're interested in. They're not interested in the bread and butter Chelsea supporters that go home away. And we're not even Europe to say we go Europe because these clowns took that from us. What embarrassment. Yeah. What embarrassment. We spent one billion and we can't even get Europe. We're sitting mid-table for a second season. What's it a trust? What track are we on, mate? Are we on Thomas the fucking PR Happy Mills tank engine? What do they think they are? They're building a playground or something. Is this nursery rhymes? Are we in, in kindergarten school? We might as well be, you know. Um, these lot are here to milk the club like they're sending containers of milk to all the kids that they're buying, bruv. And after that, after this lovely PR stunt, and by the way, the Forbes article came out on Sunday. It was Easter Sunday, I saw it. But they chose to release it today, of course. And then right after that, they announced that Alfie Gilchrist is signed a one-year extension. <laughs> Why is he signed a one-year extension? Because they're going to sell him for profit, mate. It's as simple as that. The kid's happy to sign a one-year extension. And then we're getting Waffle. He's going to go championship. Why is he going to go championship? He's playing for Chelsea games. Why is he going to go championship for? Send him a stress ball, mate. Send him to your beachhead little multi-club attachment. Oh, no, it won't go down there because they're protesting Blue Co out. Uh, what? No other Premier League club wants him? What? I'm sure you can find a Premier League club for him. Listen, I don't care about that. I'm not interested, bro. How about you sign Conor Gallagher on a contract? How about that? But no, we'll prop today that um, because of Cole Palmer's amazing performances and stats, he's going to get a, a salary increase. Why? Because clubs are scouting around, touting around Cole Palmer to go and pay him big money, more than likely, and say, come to our club and we'll be in Champions League. So have it right. So what they're doing is they know he's on an eight-year contract. We're going to raise his wage structure to what? Because he's only on small change. What are you going to bring up? 150 grand a week, but you won't pay Conor Gallagher 150 grand a week? You're jokers, mate. Yeah? All right? Pay him the 150. That's still not going to be enough because another club will come and say, we'll pay you 200. What are you going to do then? Sell him for profit. You know what I'm saying? At this rate, we will be getting relegated. That was from Matt Law. So a new approved lucrative contract. All right? 
And this is the one that done me in today. This is the one that's absolutely sent me off the edge. And this has come from Toothpick Jacobs. And he says, Brighton have reported a British record post-tax profit of 122.8 million for 2022-2023, surpassing Spurs' 130 million in 2017-18. Renowned CEO and Deputy Chairman Paul Barber has also signed a new contract. He says this is already another historic season for Brighton, but we feel they're, they're more, there's more we can achieve both now and in the future. That's the model. And we've given them 235 million to sponsor that. We've basically profited Brighton. We've allowed these seagulls to make profit. That's what they want. That's their model there. And do you know what the joke is? Brighton are better than us. And we've spent more money than Brighton. In less, in less time. We spent more in, than any club in Europe in the short amount of space of time. And what have we bought? When you deep it, what have we bought? They have propped the Seagull merchants and promoted them in such a light that they don't even give a toss about Chelsea Football Club or the supporters. Yeah. What a disgrace. And we've got another crown jewel to tip me off the edge coming that we're buying, paying a buyout clause for him. We've got this Brentford guru uh, set piece. Do you know what? Um, I saw the XG today. The XG today, Liverpool 53.46, Tottenham 53, Aston Villa 48.71, Man City 48.59, Newcastle 46.74. Seven four Arsenal forty six point six three Chelsea forty six point five four Brighton thirty nine point seven four Chelsea are right at the bottom with Brighton just a touch below Arsenal but there's a slight difference there you see these stats are deceiving and like Jose Mourinho said I don't look at stats it's not for footballing brains not for footballing people yeah yeah we look at the eye test what conversion rate are we doing with these all these XG porn merchants? Yeah, you should get in the bin as well. Your football manager merchants, you understand me, right? Destroying the narrative, false narrative to go. Oh, if we get a great striker, we're all sorted. We're gonna we're gonna land it. We're gonna get top four because the data tells us, aka Bottle Tino, Siri Merchant, Meatloaf, and Clown Lake, and the whole circus brigade. Yeah. Oh, the data tells us that we should be in the top four. We're, we've built a 100-point team. You absolute wrong-uns, mate. Yeah? The most deluded clowns I've ever, ever seen in my entire entire lifespan of watching football. And I've watched football long enough. And no, this is never going to work. What will work is their profitability. What will work is what Brighton are doing. And they're doing it at Chelsea's expense. And milking and making money off our club. And they've got the Chris Jurisic, the rat himself. It's calling us customers, raising the season tickets, raising the coach prices, food and beverage programs, anything in sight to increase revenue to make sure that they get a revenue income increased at a sixty thousand capacity with with using our forty thousand capacity. So, Joe Support Trust, I won't be sitting back right now. I won't be waiting too long for a reply. And I definitely wouldn't take that reply from Forbes magazine, an absolute insult from this whole Golden Globe Hollywood merchant, bruv. This guy's moving like Charles Manson, yeah, with a cult of brown envelopes and PR merchants. You understand me? All right. And that's in the franchise of PR Happy Meals. That's what we got at Chelsea Football Club. All right. This so-called face. I'll show you the face of this consortium. The face of this consortium is the biggest clown going in the history of football. Yeah? Biggest wrong end, bruv. You understand me? Yeah? A new stadium to bring in customers, to bring in the prawn eating sandwich merchants, to bring in uh, a whole suits and boots corporate level and increase revenue. Because let's have it right, on Thursday night, they've got the whole dugout on a that whole section Five grand a piece. Five grand a piece. Everybody pay five thousand pounds to sit in the dugout for a special blockbuster game with Manchester United. Yeah. Um, five grand. Uh, so we don't want any proper Chelsea in there. 
uh, we're going to extort, we're going to exploit. And you've got Man City supporters saying with a banner at the biggest game so far in the season, which was dross, let's have it right, ended nil-nil, firing blanks like, well, like old uh, Jackson with Slosh Pot Wet, let's have it right. Um, and most of our team, in fact. Saying you're abusing our loyalty. And they're fucking winning it all. They're, ch they're treble winners. Look at the standards. Look at them standing up. And let's have it right. The, 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 the uh, income up north, the wages, they're not as high as, say, you're in London. The, the, the quality of life, mate, you're milking them. Some people can't even afford it now. And that's in Manchester. But because we're in Chelsea, that's what they want to do is filter out all of the working class, all the diehard Chelsea, all the heart and soul of this football club, the blood, the blue blood of this club, all right, that devote their life, spend 20 grand a year traveling home away Europe, all right, they want to filter them out. You understand me? Every single one of you that's in here, I want you all to smash to pieces that like button. Toothpick Jacobs comes out today. He says the Chelsea owners don't want to want to rashly sack uh, Pochettino. There is still a belief the season can be turned around. Where have I heard that before? I heard that last year at Jellyfish Potter, where he had the Leeds game, the Dortmund game, and uh, yeah, it didn't, and he had the Spurs game, and it didn't get to the Real Madrid game, did it? No, we brought in uh, Super Frank as a PR stunt. And we got knocked out. They believe we could turn it around. And they sacrificed us actually having a chance to beat Real Madrid if we had a competent man manager, a competent gaffer, elite, like an Enrico that was ready to take the job. Enrico was ready to take the job. He rejected Chelsea. Nagelsmann rejected Chelsea. So have it right, yeah? Now, let me expose. Let me expose something here. And this one's going to this one's gonna be fantastic. Now, I want to get it up because I've got something special for you guys, yeah? I've got something very, very special, bro. All right? Now, this is Fabrizio Romano. He says, I expect Chelsea to be busy. Sorry, rewind, rewind. Hey, guys. I expect the Chelsea to be busy again in the transfer market, for sure. That's for sure. It won't be similar to January. In other words, you're not going to get no Casado deals, you get no Mudrick deals, you get no in in uh, what's his name, Mudrick, Enzo, and Casado deals, bro. End of story, bro. Yeah, end of story. You ain't getting that. So what are you going to get? What are you going to get? You're going to get underage, 23-year-olds, under 23s on a low-wage structure, and they're going to chop off and sell every other player that we can get, that they can get any profit on. All right? But where is it? Fabrizio says, I'm sure Chelsea will try to make profit with some players as it's something needed because of FFP. But Rhys James has always been considered as in an important part of the project. So all quiet on this one. Full focus on recovery and total commitment on the player side. Well, we've been told that Rhys James ain't going to feature this whole season, bro. Yeah, that's what we've been told. He's not going to feature the whole season. All right. Now. This one, we got a mud Jacobs. And Ben Jacobs comes out, the one that got blacklisted from the BBC. Oh, yeah, Toothpick Jacobs. He says, Thomas Tuchel and Jose Mino are not, the, are not thought to be considered despite being a short-term PR win. Chelsea sources particularly insisted, insist Roberto de Herpes is not on the radar as it stands. Chelsea are merely succession planning. And this is normal when a change might be necessary. Considering Pochettino is a short contract, the club is likely, start, uh, likely started this on day one. Now, let me land it for what it really is, yeah? All right? You're telling us, this is the mouthpiece of Clown Lake, Toothpick Jacobs, and we all know that. We expose him 
So Tuchel and Jose Mino are not thought to be considered by these clowns. Let me land it for what it is, yeah? Thomas Tuchel will never go back we don't work these clowns. He's even come out and said it. That's the first thing. So them, these clowns considering them, no chance, bro. False narrative. Liar. Caught red-handed. Let's have it right. And what's the other one? What's the other one? Oh, Jose Mourinho, when he got asked if he'd go back to Chelsea, he said, no, my friend, um, this is not the Chelsea as we all know. He ain't coming back to this circus. Are you joking me? So Toothpick Jacobs, man, you're a fraud. You're a liar. And this is put out on major platforms today. Like these clowns are going to consider elite gaffer. They're basically telling you we're not hiring an elite gaffer. Fucking hell, bruv. How many more times do I have to say it? They're not hiring an elite gaffer. Only an elite gaffer changes this model. No one else changes it. The herpes don't change it. Thomas Frank, Dumbo is, bruv. He don't change it. No manager. That's non-elite, non-winner. And it's got proven pedigree. It's not going to change the model. That is the only thing that can change the model. Nagelsmann came out and via his agent and said he rejected this project. And he rejected it. He said this club's in troubled waters. And this project is not one for football. Even Claude McAlele left this circus and said, what did he say? What did Claude say? He goes, this is not a project that I have built for. Peter Cech left straight away when he knew what the project was. Thomas Tuchel laughed at the project. Christy Vivell came for the pound note, thought he was got some sort of power. He's established. Works with Nagelsmann. Said to sack Potter, but Siri Merchant and Meatloaf wouldn't sack Potter. We were told it was Bowley's guy, no, it was Siri Merchant's guy. Now Pochettino, same situation. He's Egbali's guy, and it's Bowley's. It's all of their guy. That is their guy. That's a yes man. Everyone brought in a yes man. So Ben Jacobs, you fraud. You have absolutely exposed yourself. You political little wannabe merchant. You understand me? All right. Brown envelope. Yeah. All day long. And people sponsor this nonsense. Yeah. The next chance they get, they will be selling Rhys James. Now, shout out Tom, Shed and Tom, yeah? Let's have it right, proper chills. Five players to sell for profit. Sorry. There's all these players that he's listed out here are that these clowns are going to sell for profit, that can sell for profit. And this is based on the amortization um, um, rule with, this, with the wage structure. Players on eight-year contracts, some of them not. I'm going to list you list them all out and roughly their values. Gallagher, 50 million, pure profit. Matson, 35 million, pure profit. Reese James, 80 million and upwards, pure profit. Hutchinson, 25 million, pure profit. Colwell, 45 million, pure profit. Chalaba, 25 million, pure profit. Brohart, 25 million, pure profit. Palmer can be valued at 90 million. That's 55 million profit. Chilwell, 40 million value. 30 million profit because he's on his contract. And every year, that contract on a four or five year contract is 25%. It goes down off the books, off the tax books. So have it right. And when it's an eight year contract, you're looking at about 70.5%. So Chilwell will go 30 million profit. Gusto, 50 million, 24 million profit. Sterling, 40 million to be sold, 10 million profit. There is easily well over 150 million in that kitty there. And they will sell most of those players and they will bankroll to go back into their AI scouting like Burnley and MLS and using these Carrot Ingwin Stanley, Stuart Little, little yes men, these clowns that have destroyed our football club at the order of the Clown Lakes. And they will go out and buy more kids under the age of 23 years old as Bowling Egg Barley came out publicly, which I already knew anyway, to say we're going to buy world class, two world class under 23 year olds in every position. If every Chelsea supporter is happy with that and they want to sit back and be patient and watch us compete in the next five years, which we ain't because most of these players are going to get sold because they're not going to hang around because we're not competing for anything and we're not going to get Champions League football and you're relying on every other fucking club above us to capitulate and fall off the face of the earth and not strengthen, then I don't know what to tell you, mate. Yeah, you're a long way from a Vats Super Grammar. You're a long way from Starbucks. Yeah, I ain't having it and I will keep landing it and I will keep calling these clowns out 
I will call every journalist out. And let's bring up journalists, yeah? Fabrizio Romano, biggest fraud in the game. He's the mouthpiece of these clowns. I've got a lovely episode for you. I want every single one of you to smash the like button before I put this out. And I want you to enjoy this. I want you to drink in these damn minerals. And understand, I don't mess around, all right? I've got receipts on Fabrizio Romano. I've got proof. I've got minerals. I land it. I call every single one of them out. No brand envelopes is safe on the Minerals FC. So let's land it for what it is and make sure you like and subscribe. Let's have it right. To get money from agents to publish information is not legal for a journalist. After one second, find one proof and I will deactivate my account. Fab, I think, I think you're taking this a bit, a bit to heart, honestly. No, it's not too hard. It's too hard because you are on your fucking sofa just using my name and attacking me from your Twitter account with no face, no name and nothing. Just joking on me. Yeah. It's, not, it's not too hard for me because I'm working and I don't like to go on Twitter and see the shit you're putting. Oh, hold on. I'm showing my face. Let's have it right. To get money from agents to publish information is not legal for a journalist. After one second, find one proof and I will deactivate my account. Fab, I think, I think you're taking this a bit, a bit to heart, honestly. No, it's not too hard. It's too hard because you are on your fucking sofa just using my name and attacking me from your Twitter account with no face, no name and nothing. Just joking on me. Yeah. It's, not, it's not too hard for me because I'm working and I don't like to go on Twitter and see the shit you're putting. Okay. So it could be too hard for you, not for me. I'm working and I don't want someone else to come in and joke on my news. You can joke about it. It's fine. It's humor. It's okay. But joke, not say that I'm getting money. Because I'm not getting any fucking money from the agents of any player. So okay. joke whatever you want. Do humor on me, on my name, or whatever you want. I'll it's make fine. it clear. I'll make it, I'll make it clear. Yeah, we just made it clear. Thank you very much. Respect. It's got a portal where you can put what you want, what narrative. There's a Barcelona invoice there. I mean, what are we doing here, bruv? What are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? Bruv, I don't give a toss, mate. At this point, yeah? At this point, I am firing at all, gu all guns blazing, mate, yeah? All guns blazing, bruv, yeah? You're in the mud. Peretia, I work 20 hours a day merchant, bruv, yeah? And everyone worships this guy like he's some sort of guru, bruv, all right? Everything he says is, 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 is absolute fact, absolute truth. You know what I'm saying? In fact, I'm going to rewind it, bruv. I'm rattled. To get money from agents to publish information is not legal for a journalist. After one second, find one proof and I will deactivate my account. Fab, I think I think you're taking this a bit a bit to heart, honestly. No, it's not too hard. It's too hard because you are on your fucking sofa just using my name and attacking me from your Twitter account with no face, no name, and nothing. Just joking on me. Yeah. It's not it's not too hard for me because I'm working and I don't like to go on Twitter and see the shit you're putting. Okay. So it could be too hard for you, not for me. I'm working and I don't want someone else to come in and joke on my news. You can joke about it. It's fine. It's humor. It's okay. But joke, not say that I'm getting money. Because I'm not getting any fucking money from the agents of any player. So okay. joke whatever you want. Do humor on me, on my name, or whatever you want. I'll make, make it clear. I'll make it. I'll make it clear. And the funny thing is, right? People like that, Toothpick Jacob, Nizar Kinsella, all these wrong ones in the game, all the copy and paste merchants, they recycle the false narratives. They're false narrative setters to dictate what their customers. Sorry, they're the what the customers want. <laughs> yeah, he's the customer. And the customer's always right. Yeah, of course. The customer's always right, bro. Yeah. Listen, me, I would never take anything. I'm not bought, yeah? And you know I'm not bought. Everyone knows I'm not bought. I'll never sell out myself. I'll never sell out my chels, all right? Absolutely not, bro. No. Because why would I? This is this is too much fun. This is this is like a lease of life, bro. It's we 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 can walk like Blade, bruv, amongst everyone. In broad daylight, man. And we slaughter anyone. You understand me? Yeah? We're literally equaliser, bruv. No one can touch us, man. We'll take our armies. We'll, we're John Wick, bruv. We've got everyone texting. Get Johnny out the game. Get him out the game. Cancel him. Cancel him. <laughs> See you later. See you later, mate. Right, so, before I continue, big up to everyone in here landing it. And here's the meatloaf bowly himself. Hold on. No. Let's reveal his true self. That's not a good avi, mate, for you old meatloaf. That's better for, I prefer that. Listen, Johnny, the key is patience. It's patience. Yeah, jog on, mate. I ain't patient, patience with a car crash. Um, big up Chris Ward. He says, I was at the game. No chance. Protest. No minerals. I think there will be. 
I think there will be. Come Thursday, mate. I'll be real. Uh, big up, Jermaine. Raf, he says, did you turn on the owners because Tuchel got sacked or Mount got sold? I'll tell you this, and, and I'm clipped for this. I was raging when they sacked Thomas Tuchel, and I knew it was coming, and I was the only platform defending Thomas Tuchel. I was calling out any other platform, any other account, and I'll give you, in fact, I was, I was going to delete this today. Luckily, I didn't. But um, I'll give you a prime example. Um, this fella, yeah, get Tuchel out of Chelsea. Um, these two, massive agenda on Chelsea to get him out. To have it right. He got sacked, raging. When we brought in Jellyfish Potter, I support my club, I support my players, and I support the gaffer. But I found out, come December, bruv, December of that season, I found out what the model was, what they were doing behind the scenes, how they were meddling, how Jellyfish Potter was a yes man, how he was told what team to pick, what players to drop, what players to play. That's when I turned. And I have every fucking right to turn. Selling Mount, all that, that was tip of the iceberg for me, bruv. I mean, that, I knew it was coming anyway. In fact, I named, during the season, all the players they were going to sell. And they pretty much sold every single one, except for Conor Gallagher, Chilwell, uh, and who's the other one? Chalaba. Broha. And they're all going to go. So have it right. Uh, big up to, um, not that one, read that one. Big up to uh, Vadi FC. Big up, Johnny. You were saying these things for the past 12 months. Only now people waking up to the sad truth about our club up the Chelsea. And it, uh, sadly, it's too late until we make a stand. And this is what rattles me. But you know what people say? Oh, he, he, he props Mason Mount and Kai Abbott, so his opinion's uh, faulty. His, his opinion's irrelevant. We don't want to listen to him. Look at the state of you now. Look at you. Look at you. Who's laughing now? I'm laughing at you. I'm laughing at you all. Because my what I was saying was facts, mate. Yeah? And it still stands with Mason Mount and Kai Abbott's what they're doing. Facts. Yeah? So drink it in. Big up a King King Red says, from now, it's the supporters' fault that our club is going down because you all still go into games. The stadiums are getting filled regardless. All you guys got to do is stop going to the games. We need to chant first consistently, which will affect the team. And we also need to, which is the downside, because we don't want to affect the team. We want to affect the owners. So we have to do it in the right way. Obviously, if the result's not going right, that's what we're going to do. Um, and we need to protest. We need stickers out there. We need protests, a full-on protest. So have it right. And that is the only way to change it, bruv. And everyone needs to set that up. And I'm not the one that's setting it up, bruv. I'm telling you that from now. Facts. Yeah. And then once that happens, then you boycott like that. It's a process. Trust that process. Because that's trust the protest. So have it right. Edu Saxo says, United will eat Chelsea, MM7 will score and Chelsea will boo. Listen, I ain't booing that player. I'm not going to boo him because I know he's forced out. If anyone wants to boo him, boo him. It's not about Mason Mount. This is about Manchester United with experience. Ready. Ratcliffe went to the team at the training ground and said, none of you are safe. And that was unacceptable against Brentford. So I expect them to have their tails up ready to land the minerals. And I think Chelsea... Uh, the Chelsea team and the gaffer better be prepared for that. I'll tell you that now. Exactly. Boycott. Stop buying merchandise. Stop buying kits. Stop buying their stuff. And boycott games. Is that a bit right? Normally, history track record tells you that we draw these games. We draw with Man United. We always seem to draw in Man United. That's, that's always been a given, all right? Um, but at the end of the day, <sighs> mate, it's not good. Listen to this, Vincey. What a tapped up little wrong yeah? Let's call him out again. Because this guy, is a, he's a poison, 
poisonous, vicious snakes and ladder merchant. He's toxic to this fan base. He's got a massive account and he keeps spewing his toxic positivity. Yeah, A winning manager doesn't guarantee anything. The puzzle must align. The players must suit the manager's style. The quality of players must be very high. Let me squash that right now. A winning, a winning gaffer brings you elite mentality and proven pedigree that sets the tone and fucking stands at this football club because the stands being stripped. The second thing is, what gaffer is going to align with this group of players when the group of players being assembled by two mid directors who are not even professionals at what they do using AI scouting, buying individual young players with no experience, no leads on the pitch. You're set up for failure, irrespective, bro. Then he says, I find it funny when people keep mentioning bring a winning manager. What happens if the squad doesn't suit him? Well, what happened with Thomas Tuchel, you melt? Did that squad suit Thomas Tuchel? Was that his identity? Was it fuck? He won the Champions League in four months. Got us into six, uh, three domestic finals. Won us Club World Cup and Super Cup. And still didn't get any backing in the transfer window in what he wants or build his identity. Still didn't get it under the clown lakes, giving this illusion. Oh, well, the model was implemented after Tuchel got sacked because they were Tuchel signings. No, let me squash that narrative. Because what these clowns did was they always had this plan set up. They couldn't do it with Thomas Tuchel. They couldn't do it with the supporters. Because if you did that straight away to the supporters, they're going to go, what the hell's going on here? Tuchel wouldn't stand for it. He would speak up. He ain't NDA'd up because he didn't sign a contract. And then their whole thing would get blown out. So what they did was give the impression that they're back in Tuchel when hardly any of those players, in fact, only Sterling, I'm not even Sterling, bruv, was his signing. He had to call these players because he's the gaffer and he's employed by these clowns. Bowley was playing sporting director. So was Siri Merchant. Therefore, they're buying the players negotiating. What do they know? They didn't even get a proper professional elite sporting director like Roman did with Peter Kenyon. So you failed there. Then you bring in these mid-directors. You bring in Jellyfish Potter. You bring the whole structure of Jellyfish Potter. Uh, Potter and say this uh, whole structure is aligned and we're ready to land it and give him a five year contract, 12 million a year, and that all went tits up. And you're now bringing another yes man who's meant to be a development guru to have it right, and it's all tits up and we're mid table and we're even worse, in fact. But we've got great stats, we've got great XG, and we've got great data. Wow, what a load of waffle! It's the same mentality Spurs had. They thought they thought they needed a winning manager and finally win the title. And it doesn't get it doesn't get better than Jose and Antonio Conte. Well, that's because their owner at Spurs, he mate, is a bottle job. He's got no standards. He's got no intention of winning. All their supporters will tell you that, and they're happy to go go lucky with that. And all they're they're doing is creating profitability, increased profitability, doing Jay Z, the wrong one, uh, P Diddy. Let's have it right. Hello, has he got a call yet? No, he's been blanked. Uh, the wig merchant Beyonce doing concerts. You have got NFL games. They're they're maximising profitability. But hold on a minute, the seagull merchants are catching up. Be careful, this greyhound race is getting spicy, mate. Um, and they're both clubs not winning anything. They brought in Jose Mourinho and Antonio Conte, and they can't win because why? It's the history of Tottenham. We're not that club. We haven't got that history. So you're basically saying these owners are Spursy mentality. Thank you, Vince. You're a wrong one. You're a wrong one. Absolute wrong one. This is the shit that gets put around the timeline. This is the nonsense that people read and retweet and like. And they go, I agree. Fuck me. We're finished on social media. Social media's finished, bruv. Yeah. It's, it's just absolutely. It is RIP Chels. These clowns have no standards, no elite mentality, and people want to prop this shit and try and mud out Don Roman. And at the same time, no one is talking about it. You've got Fabrizio Romano, the melt that he is. Let's have it right. The little wrong one that he is. Because you know why he's a wrong one. Because he goes, we're going out in the transfer window. But we're not going to go big. So he's bracing every, every letting everyone know we're not going to go big. There's a reason why we're not going big. Because you can't spend. Because everyone's hiding the simple fact that glaring everyone in the face about FFP. But hold on a minute. We're blaming Don Roman for that. Now, let's have it right. Most of those players I mentioned on the list, the Lewis Halls, the Matsons, the Reese Jameses, the, the Carl Wills, they're not going to Euros. They can be sold. 
Gallagher can't be. So it right. Now, you also heard on that wrong and podcast, mate, that they go, I'd rather get a 12 point deduction than lose uh, and get relegated than lose Conor Gallagher. I mean, that is just suicide, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see us get relegated. At this rate, organically, we will be relegated. And then they will definitely sell the club. I guarantee you that. So hold on a minute. If they're in 10 years, a locked in 10 year contract, and we get relegated, all of a sudden they can sell the club. But they can't sell the club now. That's where I mud you wrong and expose you for what it is. Because you know it's a false narrative. And the narrative being pushed out by all the brown envelopes and the brown envelope matrix and all these fraudulent journos, they're all tapped up, bruv, all right, to push out that they can't sell the club when they fucking well can, mate. Yeah, they can. But yeah, Fabrizio, save it right. Um, we know they're going to go in the market once they sold players and balance their so-called 150 million deficit. I work 20 hours per fucking day and I don't accept that someone goes on Twitter with no face, with no name, just joking with myself and saying this kind of shit. So it right. And we continue, bruv. Uh, big up to uh, Donna Cullen. She says, uh, <laughs> oh, man. It's just, just what are we doing here, bruv? What are we doing here? Well, your your proper bottle job mentality, bruv. You've probably got a load of milk in them bottles as well. Milking all the Spursy. And I'm happy if you can milk them because that's their mentality. But our mentality at Chelsea, mate, my standards don't drop. And I'm not allowing these clans drop my standards to go, uh, we just need to go on course. We need to go on course. What course is that? Is that a GCSE course? Is it some sort of A-level course, bruv? Because there ain't no degree course, mate. All right? What is this? What is this? What course are we doing? Is it an apprenticeship course? Because I tell you what, you lot of clowns don't know what you're doing at a football club. Big up CFC Marky Boy. He says, after hearing that that Mark fella last night, I don't trust the Chelsea uh, supporters trust no more. He's a mouthpiece for Clown Lake. Hold a Twitter space, Johnny, for the proper Chels. It is very, it's a bit, it's a bit contradicting. I will say that. I'm very concerned with that. Because he didn't really land it. Didn't really land it. And I'm concerned. And I've always said it. The Chelsea Supporters Trust will always be led, yeah, and dictated by the fucking proper Chelsea. Yeah. The ultras, bruv. Yeah. Let's have it right. They're the only ones. Yeah. They're the only ones that will lead it and everyone will follow suit. You understand me? Yeah. God rest his soul, Chelsea old boy, yeah. If he's here right now, guarantee it, bruv. Guarantee it, bruv. Yeah? I certify it. Mineral certified. Mate, we'll be on, we'll be landing it. Big time. Yeah? Big time. Uniting with Strasbourg. Shout out Stevie G, bruv. He's going to go out there in France, bruv. Let's have it right and land the damn minerals. Yeah? We need more like that. We need more like that. It's facts. Yeah? Facts. We don't deal with false narratives, bruv. They're politicians, mate. They go on there and speak so poetically and fluently and they twist their words like they're Simon Joe 90 Jordan with their dictionary and thesauruses. I don't give a toss about that. People might not like my delivery, but I'm a passionate supporter that loves my club. And I own, I know the state of my football club. Our football club. Not just mine, it's our football club. And the state of our football club is an absolute disgrace. It's shambolic. Yeah? Big up to Mr. Joshi. He says, I put Clown Lake out on my preview. Chelsea FC v Manchester United preview, even though I'm a Man United fan. I really like the fans care about, I really like that fans care about the club. Respect you for doing that. You know what's more more disturbing is that rival fans are speaking how I've been speaking, yet our own supporters and our fan base, they're all, mate, they're bored. They're tapped up, man. They're tapped up, yeah? They don't think we can change it, yeah? What don't you understand? What do you think I've been, what do you think I'm doing? Do you think I'm doing this for fun? I'm doing this because it needs to be done. It's, it's a necessity, all right? We have to force them to change the model and put things right. And if you're not going to put things right, which Bowley has come out openly and said he's not going to put it right, 
and not addressing the Chelsea Sports Trust, then I want them out. And it's Blue Co out. Let's have it right. I want to see this everywhere, bruv. I want to see this everywhere, yeah? Elite. Elite! Yeah? We'll put this out everywhere. It's on my platform, mate, yeah? Anyone can click that and put it out. Shout out, Steve. Let's go. Up the Chels. Up the Minnows FC. <coughs> clowns. Absolute clowns, bruv. Yeah? Oh, let's have a bit of fun, shall we? Incy Wincy Johnny climbed up the water spout. Down came the kids and washed Johnny out. And when the kids came out to play, all the what? All you little melts, yeah? You little melts, understand me, yeah? You're like this. It's what you are. In fact, fuck this, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah? Drink that, drink that in. Can you read it? Because you can write. So can you read? Read that. Why don't you soup minerals that? Yeah. Listen, we've got to troll them back, guys. You understand me? We've got to troll them back because it's all fun and games for them. I'm not one of fun and games, me personally. Uh, but I'll, I'll go along with it. It's all a bit of fun, a bit, bit of joy and fun for these little melts that uh, like to sponsor this nonsense. Uh, but the bottom line is this, guys. Yeah. Bottom line is this. We're going to move on. Because, as we all know, you got these idiots on the timeline putting out that Conor Gallagher's a racist. Yeah, false narratives. Because he didn't shake the hand of a of a young uh, black boy that was a mascot, uh, and he went to the to the white boy that was a mascot um, when he clearly stroked, uh, patted the black the black boy who's a mascot, and took the white boy. And there was a picture of him holding both of them. And he had a captain armband. But yet, you want to force an agenda that he's racist and he's our captain. It's an absolute disgrace because these are the agenda merchants that want to force Conor Gallagher out. They want to force Conor Gallagher out. Do you understand me? And that got squashed nicely, but he got bombarded on his Instagram. It's disgraceful, mate. Absolutely disgraceful. So, yeah, that's all I'm going to say on it. That's all I'm going to say. It's a disgrace. It's the thing that does me, not that it really matters. Love him or hate him, Todd Bowley knows that so long as fans show up and tune in to his annuity hold... I've got to put it up. I have to put it up for you lot to see. I have to put it up for you lot to see. This is a fucking joke, man. It's a joke, bruv. Yeah, look at this. Read it. I'm publicly putting it up. It's there for everyone to see. His annuity holding backers will get paid and his billions will continue to grow. That's all they care about. That's all they care about. And I'm supposed to not be rattled. I'm supposed to just sit back and go, yeah, don't worry about it. Everything, little thing's going to be all right. Everything's going to be all right. Yeah. <sighs> I just want to get something up. Thomas Tuchel said, on whether the door is open, Always, 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 always. And the door is always open. Actually, I love it and truly believe that the supporters love it. The mix between big names, players from abroad, big personalities and famous players can mix with the academy guys. That was way back in 2021. Yeah. Champions League winning team. That's all been gutted and destroyed. That had balance, had minerals, he had experience, he had leadership, he had Cobham boys, he had... Um, Everything there, bruv. Two stars. Let's have it right. And you're right. Emma's PR is a disgrace. Slandering uh, Emma Hayes. Listen, it's all to put... Because everyone is anti-Chelsea, bruv. 
Um, another thing, people go, Graham Potter an ex had an extremely bloated squad, quite a few lazy rotten eggs, no cover for James, all this shit, all right? But, uh, and he had no pre-season, yeah? But then if you look at what Potter had, Potter had experience, Kante's generals in his team, Mason Mount, who he wouldn't play, all right? Pochettino's had a pre-season, but he's had the youngest team in the league and second shortest team in the league. So this narrative is false. They're both failures. They're both yes men. And this squad is not good enough to compete at the highest level, bruv. Yeah? This is the reality of the situation, guys. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah? Every single day... I will expose everything that comes out. In fact, today, I think we've done it bellissimo. We've done it bellissimo. Let's have it right. Yeah? Haven't we? You tell me in the chat. Everyone in the chat land it, bruv. Tell me. Have I not exposed everything tonight? Today? Tonight? Let's have it right. The agenda on Reese James, because he's not fit, Blah, blah, blah. I get it. The reality is they don't hold any sentiment, loyalty, love or care to our heritage, our culture, football as a whole, as a game, and especially to our common boys. They are just pound notes and that's all they are. Everything they see is pound notes. That's why we take the piss, um, as always, with, uh, what's it called? Let's have it right. The Matrix. Yeah, let's have it right. The Matrix. All the digits like that. Understand me? Yeah. The Clown Lakes will not back Emma Hayes because Emma Hayes told Win Stanley that. Yeah. And Stuart Little. Um, and she will not be dictated, she will not be a yes woman. And that's why she's leaving, aside from family issues. But if if they if they stayed out well out of the way, she would still be here, mate. End of story. Gil Christ is signing a, uh, a contract extension because they're going to sell him. They're doing exactly what they did to Mount, what they're trying to do to Conor Gallagher, in, in, uh, extend their contract so they can get more money because they're on a longer contract. That's the reality, bruv. Yeah? That's the reality. Now, I also want to bring you something up. And let me just get it. <clears throat> Smash that like button. Everyone in here, respect to everyone. Everyone in here, certain everyone in here. All right. I wanna I wanna sort of like relay something. about these clowns and, and the so-called they can't sell for 10, 10 years, bruv, yeah? In their contract, they have to commit to the men's team, the women's team, the stadium, and spend a certain amount of money. So far, they've already spent a billion, so they've ticked that one off the list. They're spending money in the women's team. They're ticking that off the list. They're spending money in the academy. They tick that one off the list. The one they can't tick is the ground. So that breaches their, their agreement if they don't rebuild the stadium, which is the loophole to get out for them to sell the club. When they sell the club, whatever profit they sell the club for, they're not allowed those profits until 10 years is up. That's how it works. And right now, that stadium ain't getting built. Another thing that I've also mentioned is Strasbourg is attached to Bluco. Bluco owns Strasbourg. Bluco is, is the custodian of Chelsea Football Club. 
which means they can't even sell them and get their profits for Strasbourg. This is why they are using the PR machine to calm everything down. Getting people to go on Twitter spaces, getting people to speak on platforms, not to protest. It's not going to do anything. Play it down. And supporters just go along with it. Put all this PR. I don't care what you tell me, bruv. Yeah, these owners have destroyed us, milked us, will continue to. They are not changing their model and they have to get out because they ain't sorting it out. And we have to protest. End of story. That's my narrative on the Minerals FC. I don't care what anyone tells me, bruv. Yeah. That's the true narrative. And you're fat, you're right, Curse. Thank you very much for that. They did indeed. They sold Havertz, and straight after they sold Havertz, they bought Strasbourg. Well, well, well. Land in the facts. Land in the minerals. Land it for what it really is. What a surprise. No, it ain't. Ain't no surprise, bruv. And by the way, if Wolves win tonight, uh, and who's the other team? Is it Fulham? Uh, let me just double check. Yeah, Fulham are losing. If Wolves win, well, Wolves are above us anyway. It's Bournemouth, isn't it? Bournemouth and Fulham that are playing now. That will play tonight, sorry. Fulham's losing. But if Bournemouth or Fulham win, they go above us. We go down to what? 13th, is it? You know what I'm saying? Thirteenth, mate. Yeah, thirteenth. Really, trust the course. Trust the process. Yeah, your process is a failure. The process is a failure. You know what I'm saying? Mate, we're a shambles. It's a shambles. Listen, Thursday night. I'm going to land the minerals. I don't give a fuck. All right? That's a fact. Yeah? In fact, the CPO is, is literally the only hope for these clowns to breach their contract, to break the, 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 the contract or agreement, because they have to build a stadium. They can't do that. So we've got them by the short and curlies. But they won't PR that to everyone. They won't use the journalists to put that, that, that narrative out, because they don't want that getting out. Because the moment that the supporters sniff and understand that, then they're not going to sell the, the pitch, and rightly so. And they're not going to be able to build how they want to build at Stamford Bridge, because they have to move the position of the pitch. Nah, mate. Nah. Let's have it right. There is no allegiance to these clowns, bruv. And by the way, anyone who's thinking that we're going to get better next season, you deserve everything you get. Because <laughs> I will be here next season saying the same shit on repeat, and you coming back in, in the or subscribing and coming in my chat and going, I'm sorry, Johnny, I thought you were a gender merchant. I didn't agree with you, but you're absolutely right. And then it's three years down the line and we're seriously dead and buried. Where we are dead and buried right now. Mate, I'm telling you now, I, I can't stomach Mount scoring against us. I, 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 all players that play at United, I don't want him scoring against Chelsea. I can't. I can't. That's one. I can't. I can't. Everyone twerks for the herpes, yeah? Right? Everyone twerks for the herpes. Yeah? We all know that. Well, this is my message to all them ones, the little Twitter virgins, bruv. Yeah? This is what's he done. What's he done? Oh, it's the Morrison. Oh, the barricades. What we doing there in a club? Club cutting shapes, bruv. Is that what we're doing? In your mouth, basement cutting shapes, twerking for the zippery. Yeah, it's the fruit of Wolverine. Is that what we're doing? 
to have it right. What I'll say, they go, the model set up for the Zebri, the Zerbi, the Herpes, the fraudulent Wolverine, yeah? Allow him, yeah? This guy can't do anything with Brighton. He can't, he's got him out of the Europa League. He got him in the Europa League and now he's got him, he's got him out of the Europa League. They're sitting mid-table. They're above Chelsea. But what do you think he's going to do? With what money? More kids at Chelsea and being dictated? Bruv. He ain't doing nothing at Chelsea, mate. And I don't think he'll take the job. I'll be real. I think Liverpool will go and snap him up. And he'll have a better chance at Liverpool. Nini CFC is a bought little wrong un, all right? And he's a toxic positivity merchant. And he was given a gender on two calls so he can get in the bin. He's irrelevant, bruv. Yeah, he's a 10% merchant. Yeah, uh, 10% discount merchant. And the Don Geezer is the most deluded supporter I've seen. And I'll tell you why. Because he wanted to try and give it a, a give it a Don Roman and try and mug Roman to support his argument. It's pathetic. Get out of your mum's basement, wherever you are, and start landing for what it is. Because if you're propping this nonsense... You deserve everything you get. And these lot go on football terrorists. They go on all these platforms and spout this shit, all right, and giving Chelsea supporters this 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 name of just being laughing stock. And I will not tolerate it, yeah? I won't have it, bruv, yeah? There's too many of these ones, too many uh, fabricated ones like this that go on and they'll, they'll go, oh, yeah, but I call it out. You ain't calling that shit, bruv. You ain't calling that shit. No one's calling out anything, bruv. Yeah, if you want to call it out, call it out. Call out the owners. Call out the directors. Call out every fucking thing. Call out the fact that the players ain't good enough. That you seem to be propping. All these people are propping this shit. All right, call it out, bruv. Call it out when he elite, got elite, elite gaffer. The herpes, bruv. What fucking? What's he done? What's he done at, at any club? I ain't got time for wrongings, bruv. I ain't got time for false narrative setters. I ain't got time for people that just want to get be a celebrity or try and build a channel up. I build it up because I fucking net. I had to do it. I had to do it. Didn't even want to do it. I had to do it. Best thing I did. Because there ain't no one landing it like this. And that's it. And that's why we're, we're organically growing. We grow because the people that support this channel are here because they want the landing. They want the realness, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Football therapy, he's a delicate little flower, that geezer. Uh, he's like this, you know, fucking, with his little espresso, and it's like, yeah, we're great, everything's great, and you know what I'm saying? It's like, nah, mate, nah. You're you're in the, the, the Clown Lake Asylum, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Strapped to that chair, bruv. Strapped. Um, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, no, that, that guy's gone, bruv. He's gone. Everyone's gone, you know. Everyone's got to land it. Literally, got to land it. Listen, big up to everyone in here, man. Give up, big up to every single one of you in there. Yeah. Yeah, Stevie G, I see that. Pep Guardiola, that's funny, bruv. <laughs> uh, they call me the Pep Minerals, bruv. Yeah. So it right. Um, but listen, respect to everyone in here. Smash that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I want every single one of you to put all your comments down below. Um, and uh, you know what I'm saying? We've got to keep landing. There's going to be a lot of movement happening over the next two days before we even get a play. So we have to be prepared to see where we are in the table. And let's talk about pressure. There will be pressure, bruv. Yeah? You know what I'm saying? Um What's that? Callum hudson Adoy scored, does he? Yeah, of course, yeah. Well, the games are starting. Hopefully the Spursy and the Dirty Irons, yeah, uh, draw and just get muddied. Let's have it right. Uh, but right now, Chelsea, as I said, we're sitting 11th. Um, let's see if that gap increases. And we've got our two lovely games in hand. And we've got uh, Arsenal and Spursy. And we've also got um, United. I'm going to do a preview on the game. We're going to talk about the game or any any news that's leading up to that. So make sure you're tuned in for that. 
Um, and I'll try and get um, Eunice. Uh, and I'll see if I do something with Lee as well, because it, it needs to be done. Um, and uh, let's take it from there, guys. Do you know what I'm saying? But big up to everyone. Shout out to all the Minnows FC Ultras. Um, and keep laying your damn minerals. Keep exposing it. Um, stickers, posters, banners. Um, just keep landing it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but respect to everyone. And uh, as always, guys, we'll leave it on uh, Don Roman. Um, and uh, comment, like, subscribe. Respect to everyone. Stay healthy. Keep winning. Clown Lake out. Blue Co out. Let's have it right. Up the Chels. Up the Minnows FC. Let's go. Run, 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 run.